Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be talking one of my, probably my personal favorite characters from Transformers Armada, and that's Armada Megatron. This is the new released Transformers Legacy Armada Megatron. And we got him here starting out in robot mode. And I, you can really appreciate all the effort and everything that went into making this as accurate to the show. And oh, there's a lot of toyness in this as well for how accurate this can be. Um, but of course, let's start with that, that head sculpt, which is just absolutely phenomenal. Like that is, that is our Mega Megatron through and through. Like there's not the big dumb horns, the scowl, just the paint on that looks incredible. Just incredible. Um, the only difference I can find with him the only difference I can really tell between this and like the animation model is these treads and stuff are supposed to be purple because this whole th his whole spike right here is supposed to be like this purple, but they physically couldn't do that without changing everything with it. But um, going back to talking about like a lot of the toy aspects of this, like from the original toy, um, he's got the hand right here, the claw hand, because the original toy. When you plugged in later one, you could slide this up and a knife would pop up here, which that was really cool. Uh, and then, like I said, he's got more stuff that comes out in like uh, tank mode, like different pods and stuff that would pop out from the original toy. But uh, speaking of like his hands and everything, his what they're calling his Evo Fusion, which is just hilarious, is uh, so I have it set up right now with his turret underneath his arm. I think in the show he mainly wears his turret, you know, kind of like that. But I've always had his turret always like that. But that popped off. So his Evo Fusion, at least for this, is what they're calling it, is one of the two. As you can take this, you can fold his hand up, and then you can plug the cannon into his arm like that which I think is okay yeah like it doesn't look bad but then you can take like one of the blast effect parts plug it in like that like that's cool it's nothing he ever really did in the show but adds a lot of play value which I think is great um, but the other Evo Fusion they have for this guy is that he's able to do what the original toy was and flip the whole turret to the front. So with the original toy, you would have leader one, which they didn't include in this. And I don't think they're ever going to do the mini cons. I just have that feeling they're never going to do the mini cons just because of how poorly the MicroMasters and everything sold. Even Hasbro's talked to it about it before. They did not sell very well. But uh, to do that, you just take them, straight them like that, essentially pull them apart. and then that'll pop off that itself really like reveals a lot of detail that you will never literally never see just right on the abdomen part right there and then once you got them all set up and this part back here can fold down which allows it to swivel forward just enough and then clamp back in and then you go over here Push it back down, no clip in. And then you're able to, like the original toy, this flips up right here, this pops out. And then this goes forward like this. And then that's also another one of his gimmick Evo Fusion abilities. This does not go 360, it does stop which is fine, that does not bother me. I know other people have modified it where you can do that, make it go 360, but I don't see the point. There's no, I'm not gonna leave them like this anyway. But that was one of the things his original toy can do with um, Leader One. It was able to plug in, unlock this, and he's able to do this. In the original toy, there was like a crank around here and you could spin it and the whole thing would spin. And then these also have blast effect parts right up there with that one as well so i think that's cool and then yeah the original toy these were actual firing missiles and of course obviously they're not in so let's talk about articulation with this guy this guy 
handles like a dream articula uh, with articulation only in one area. Um, like he's got like basic, you know, up, whatever, up and down. His head is very articulated. It can do everything you need it to do. The ankles have that thing where if you bend it, it has the fill in there. Ratchet everything, knees and everything can go up there. Uh, the only bad issue that I have with him, which is a big oversight with this guy, is that his shoulders do not move. They are locked in there. They do not move. That is that is it. The flap up here moves up right here. It's kind of like ratcheted. And then you're able to move his arm like that. But this whole pylon doesn't move. Does not move. You can even tell there's a joint right there. That's the joint for transformation and everything. Yeah, it does not move. That is the only issue I've had with this guy. And it really bothers me sometimes because I want to be able to pose like him holding something or like going back but it doesn't work and it, it is very frustrating but i understand the way they had to do it with the transformation and everything and make these joints heavier to hold for like the tank one and everything but overall the robot mode on this guy is just incredible he looks great with everybody else i like it's just it's just amazing uh but anyway let's get him into his tank mode So now that we have him in tank mode, this, again, is really hitting hard for me from the nostalgia of that original toy and from the cartoon. Um, the only articulation, of course, in this is the tank turret, which does not do 360. It goes to about there and about there. Um, the reason that is, again, that's for when he's has the tank cannon under his arm so it stays in place so it doesn't just fall or sag or anything like that. It's the reason they did it, but does not bother me that you can't go 360 at all. It does not. No, I'd rather have it be able to hold it under his arm in his robot mode, because that's how he's going to be stored, than trying to go 360. But there is a lot of, I don't want to call them Easter eggs, but details from the original toy in here. So in the original toy, you could plug in Armada 1 or any or Leader 1 or any other Minicon. And this right here, these would spring open, and there would be more Minicon ports. They didn't do anything, but they would just spring open. Um, this on the original toy used to be like, it would pull out and it was a cage and it would open up and you can put a Minicon in it. That was it. Um, that was the same thing over here. You could pull this out and it was like, this was actually a little ramp. So you'd pull this out and the ramp would fall out of there. And then it was just a little ramp for something to do. And then this used to be essentially like a launching strip kind of thing. You would, this would fold out and then on a, rail system there would be a minicon port this really confuses me only because i haven't really looked that hard at the show but only the one side here on mine is painted and this whole th in the original toy this whole thing is orange but only this side's painted and even on the official promo pictures and everything only this side is painted so i don't know if it's just an error or anything else like that or early production that just didn't get around to painting this, but the original toy, this was all orange. I don't know why it's only half painted, but he's got like five millimeter ports and like where the original Minicon ports would be and everything like that. Got the headlights and stuff up here. Um, this, on the original toy, this was a, you could pull this back and make sounds. This also would light up on the original toy, so that's kind of like what it looks like. But this whole armor here, because you could cock it back and shoot out an actual missile like the original toy and then this used to have a you put a minicon there and you could turn the minicon and the whole turret would spin so that's really cool there are a lot of easter eggs built into this guy which i appreciate as someone that grew up with armada and then of course 
you can have those going up like that. So I think that's really cool. But again, overall, the tank mode is what I would want for a Mega Megatron. He is, he is essentially, you know, laying down, but like, he rolls well. But that's, yeah, no, that looks, that looks great for a Mega Megatron. So overall, I believe, at least my personal opinion, this is probably one of the best of the Armada releases we've gotten. Um, I do have Prime, but I haven't got around to playing around with Prime enough. But as a kid and everything, I was always with Armada Megatron. Our Megatron was always my go-to toy when I was a kid, which was great. And this just hits a lot of nostalgic factors for me with this. But... It's just, I can't recommend it, this Megatron enough. If you want something weird, if you want something just to stick out, because he definitely sticks out. He's not like any other Megatron you've seen on a shelf. But that's just being me. Uh, I Like I said, I recommend him. I think he's a lot of fun. He's high, he's just great to play with, fun to transform, everything like that, and especially if you're an Armada fan. Uh, but let me know what you think. Um, love to hear what you guys think about it, because like I said, I grew up with Armada, so it's kind of like... Beast Wars is my G1, but this is close second. But uh, thanks for watching. If you liked it, please hit that subscribe. And then that's it. Everyone have a good day. Thank you.